Good afternoon, everybody. All right. Uh, something a little bit different today. Bit of the old, bit of the old planet zoo. Um. Yeah. Hey, hello, Rally. Nice and early today. Good to see you. How do yourself? I'm, uh, doing all right today. Woke up, did did a half hour workout, so now I am knackered. <laughs> uh, but you know, it was good, and I need to need to kind of get back into that. Now I'm going to be sitting down a lot at a new job. Uh, but yes, today is today is Planet Zoo Day, which was very much um, something I haven't. I wanted to look into, haven't really looked into it too much, and then it was gifted to me by the very lovely Toxic Mr. Wolf. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna start by, uh, There we go. Oh yeah, she was last playing Halo. Uh, little shout out for her there. Just to get things rolling, and as you can probably tell, I haven't actually even really played this game yet. I've started it up, made sure it started just fine, as you do. Um, but yeah, will be the first first few steps into the zoo. Uh, Baking a pasta to be in and out of lucky mode, doing good. Thanks, man. Good. Glad to hear that. Glad to hear you are doing doing good. Right, should we get into it then? I need to. Need to create my avatar. I haven't even done that yet. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, not quite. I'm a bit. I'm a tad paler than that. Can I? What does my head look like? I have no idea. <laughs> Let's go for that one. Meerkats. There may well be meerkats. Do not worry about that. Uh, ba -ba -ba. <laughs> I think it's just a. Uh, doesn't really change much, these browns, does it? We'll go for that one. It's a bit a bit lighter than brown. A hey, hello, Mystic. There you are. Let me give you another. Uh, another one of these. I don't know why you know you know who you are. <laughs> oh yeah, and you'll also see I've got some new uh, new sub badges on there, which I uh, whipped up this morning. Um, just just far easier to see than what they were before. Uh, actual numbers, which is helpful. Thank you. No, thank you. Thank you for this making this stream possible. Uh, let's see. How beardy am I? Yeah, kinda. That's kind of the beard shape that I've got. It's not quite that full at the minute. Um, yeah, accessories. I got glasses because I'm a big nerd. Uh, what top do I like? I actually quite like that one. Go with a, go with a kangaroo. Uh, dun dun dun. Yeah, and we'll go for some. Ooh, that was weird. I saw that come up, and I was like, oh, that's in Planet Coaster as well. Yeah, of course it is. It's made by the same people. Ah, to be dumb. Uh, cool. So I'd say that's roughly accurate. As as roughly accurate as it goes. Can I be a large person? Oh no, that's like that's like buff large. I'm not buff large. I'm just chunky. We'll go for that. Are you sure? Yeah. Yep. All right. Here we go. Uh, up in the old United of Kingdom. There we go. Oh, hello. 
Who are these people? Do I know these people? Oh, I do. They're Steam friends. Huh. Nice. Um, right. Now, I should probably do the career, shouldn't I? Get through all the all the uh, all the tutorial stuff. Uh, but I'm not going to do that because <laughs> I'm uh, I'm just going to go straight to sandbox. I think. No tutorials. I know what I'm doing. How can, how hard could it be? You know. Instead of putting down roller coasters, you're putting down animal enclosures, and they kind of rhyme. So you know, close enough. Uh, hey, hello, Mrs. Mifflin. Nice to have you in. Uh, right, so let's just let's just get going. Um, uh, bum 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 bum. But let's go for. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Um, don't know. Let's go for tropical. Actually, tropical. I should probably see if I can get yeah, a European one. Because um, I don't know a great deal about like animals and stuff, uh, but I I do know where Europe is. Easy, medium, or hard? What does that mean? Animals won't get bored. Guests won't want refunds. Uh, okay. Yeah, sounds good to me. Flat, sculpted, ooh, and a bunch of height maps. That's interesting. Can you import your own in, uh, height maps in? Very nice. Cool, let's just start with something exceptionally basic for now. Just so I can get my teeth into it. Of course, it's going to be called Budget Zoo. Because uh, this is the, the sister location of, of Budget Land. They get. They had enough budget from their budgetary landings to uh, to build a zoo. So uh, that's what we're gonna do today, I think. Right, let's go. Yeah. Um, happy Friday to you all. Hope you're doing. Hope you. Oh my God, that was quick. Far quicker than uh, Planet Coaster loads. And yeah. Hope you're all. Hope you're all doing well on this uh, on this fine Friday. Uh, let's see, more settings have been added to the settings menu to further customize how you play. Nice. I'm sure that'll be fine. This looks all, all normal. Cool. Um. Oh, this looks nice actually. Yeah, this has got a very, a very much nicer kind of uh, backgroundy thing like backdrop than um plan cover so that's nice oh and it's got grass lovely oh oh look at that can i oh, i can i can only go down that far though well okay oh i should probably uh do i need to turn no clip on probably not uh anyway ah oh, look at that lush field you just want to have a little picnic here nice uh, this time next week we want some roller coasters. We will. That is uh, that is not far away. Very much, very much looking forward to that. Uh, just recently, eyes open, so I'll let we let you know. Good. Ooh, nice, nice reflection. Uh, oh God, where am I? What? Oh. <laughs> okay. I was worried. That I was like, this is a lot of leaves. Uh, right. So this is our. Entrance. Where do people come from? Do they get popped in through teleporter thingies? Yeah, I guess that's what these are, isn't it? This is a nice little, nice little entrance way. Uh, yeah, nice. Right then, what's this mean? You need a staff room. Oh my god, I don't have any staff. Why do I need a staff room? Hmm. Game. Uh, yep, I know how to build paths. Uh, right. 
Okay, let's just start with a big plaza. Put some squedges on. Um, be even bigger there. We can have some buildings and stuff around here. And then right, so I guess I guess off in this direction is a good idea. Have a have a twisty a twisty thingy come around that way, uh, and then fit in our first kind of thing here. And uh, see how far we get, having not done. Uh, having not done the tutorial or anything, I'm sure it will go well. I'm sure it will tell me what I need. Staff room, keep a hut. Uh, yeah, let's get some... oh my god. Okay, ah oh, look! That's very cute, I like that. Nice little staff room, got a, a TV and stuff in there. Let me just... that there and we can have a better look at it uh, if the camera if the camera will let us slightly different camera actually than, uh, than the planet coaster one can I pop in here I can yeah this is nice nice little uh, TV to watch some stuff some uh, some books some CDs fire blanket pretty important uh, a microwave, lots of blue roll, always good. Good to keep that stuff about. Oh look, it's um, it's the gulpy dinosaur on some cereal. Oh, branching out, I see. Very nice. Uh, toaster, some mugs with some animal faces on them. That's cute. I like that. Uh, and then yeah, nice little seating area with some donuts. Oh yeah, the funky bear. Hmm. Nice. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. and then I guess guess we build a building around that. But I think I probably will also need a keeper hut. Uh, facilities. Ooh, that's cool. So there are. There does look like to be some kind of transporty ride kind of thing in here too. Uh, which is which is cool. How do I get on to onto custom custom ones? Chief Beef, Bernie's Bakes. Oh, nice. Uh, and I've seen that you can just put down like counters as well and build around them rather than have uh, actual buildings for it. So that's interesting. Our facilities. Here we go. Quarantine. What was I? What was I looking for? A uh, a keeper hut, wasn't it? Keep a hut small. Cool. So we'll go. We'll go like that for now. Well, uh, oh god. Yeah, maybe I would do want to turn on table camera collision with terrain. That's a weird way to put it, but yes, please. Uh, right. A couple of buildings just for just for just for our stuff. Uh, I think I want to get down some like smaller, smaller attractions. So like small animal thingies. Uh, oh, lots of different fonts in here. That's quite cool. And uh, ooh, just a just a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, 
interesting. Looking forward to getting into all of that. Uh, are there any animal thingies in here? No. Barriers. Habitat. Block of frozen fish. Okay. <laughs> Uh, nature, lots of stuff in here, as you would expect from uh, from a game that is is about nature. Uh, I took a different direction than I have done. Just went through the campaign things. I haven't done anything else. Yeah, I thought I'd just kind of blunder my way into it with uh, without doing any. Without doing any prep. <laughs> so I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, so... Uh, thank you very much for that, Shane. Ah, it's Phil as well. Hello, friend. How are you both doing? You, uh, you join me on my adventure into not knowing what I'm doing in this game. Must have at least one on trade center. How do I get animal? This side can be can be chain link, and we'll have we'll have a brick wall at the back. We got angle snap on that. I do. Feel like this might be too small. Ah, okay. Pull that out like that. That's nice. Pressing an Elden Ring and thought some dulcet Jarrett tones would be the thing to accompany. Ah, nice to have you in, Sunshine. Sunshine, why have I just called it out? I don't know. Ignore me. Um... You can be a Sunshine if you wish. There we go. No, the sun's going down, I can't see. Can I... Okay, we'll keep it like that for now. How do I acquire animal? I need a trade center, don't I? So we'll pop that down. Um, here. Do you not wish for path? Okay, going to put it back there. That is fine. Uh, trade center. Da, 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 da. Animal sent to the trade center. Put in storage on age and needs food. Okay, we can now get some animals. What animals do we want? Uh, I think I think there was a call for some meerkats, wasn't there? So let's see if there are any. No. Okay, there are tortoises. Um. Oop. Right, so I have no meerkats, unfortunately. Mmm. Uh, one thing to be aware of is that guests don't like to see staff buildings. Oh, okay, I'll bear that, bear that in mind. Just thought I got got Planet Zoo, but never really looked into it. Do we still have access to hydro beams? I'm not sure. I know there is a, I know there is a workshop for it, but I don't know how how good it is. 
Do you have all the animals from the beginning? I'm pretty sure I do. Because it's... Because uh, it's sandbox. Kind of need something small because we've got a pretty small enclosure. <laughs> what is a bongo? Uh, okay. Cool. Maybe. Some uh, pangolins, they're quite small. Uh, can I filter these by like size? No, but I can filter them by monies. Uh, pangolin, yeah, go on then. Takes five minutes to get here. Kind of the earliest interlock. Okay, so we'll get we'll get a mangolin and a woman galin. Uh, they have polite little hands. They do. They are very cute. Uh, I might need some stuff. Uh, so we'll probably probably need a keeper because they're a keeper. Uh, the rest of the stuff I don't think we really need yet. Uh, yeah, so I have not played this game yet so far. Um, oh, this is this is kind of what I was looking for. These are like little self-contained enclosure things that you can make like uh, like reptile houses with. I think that might be that might be a good place to start. We've got frogs, got iguanas, got speeders, snacks. All of that, all of that good stuff. Um, so we've got two pangolins. Uh, how do I find out what they need? And why can't they go in here? Should I have done the tutorial? Yeah. <laughs> of course. The pangolins live in burrows. Sure. <laughs> no suitable species. Cool. Bye then. So I have a couple of couple of pangolins. Will you please tell me what you need? Because I do not know. I think that might be a better use of everyone's time, no? Uh, okay, well, you know what? I'll uh, I'll go. You also do have the da da We'll do the tutorial, and then we'll come back to this. Cause you know, don't want to be uh, don't want to be wasting people's time. <laughs> hey, you did it. Here's the thing. 
things against clock career. Go on then, bit of tutorial. I was gonna be like, yeah, I can do this, this'll be easy, I don't need to do 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 do. Uh, turns out I do. <laughs> turns out it's not as easy as putting down things. Because they will all need, all need their own special things. Separate plants. Um, yeah. Looks nice. Nice stately home. Ah, hey yo, at Hammer too. Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, 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 sorry about that. I, I, I have a habit of slipping back into the Planko language. We. Uh, it's good to Sick burn on Planko. Hey, <laughs> Bernard. Although I insist, you call me Bernie. The only person who calls me Bernard is my wife. <laughs> and even then, only when I put <laughs> an elephant tongue into the carpets. <laughs> Yes, you eat that As monkey. You know, I own several zoos, but I always like to show people the ropes here at my home. This is the first zoo I ever opened, and a source Ooh, of nice, pride for me. And pride, thanks to a lion breeding program we ran in the 80s. <laughs> but we're in the middle of a big renovation, and that's where you come in. Sadly, our old contractor had to retire after developing a fur allergy. Poor devil kept sneezing his dentures into the lion habitat. So, <laughs> it's up to you to finish everything off. <sighs> poo Hoover. Worry, that guy had a poo Hoover. The deep end. My headkeeper, Nancy Jones, will be lending a helping hand. Oh, she's a hard worker. And she'll expect That's you a nice to be mug. too. But, to the little owl along, mug. Like a house on fire, or even better, <laughs> one that isn't on fire. <laughs> Less shouting that way. <laughs> Hello there. From that rosy, fresh face of yours, I'm guessing you're Bernie's new hire. Good. Now, I hope you're ready to ditch your diploma because we're about to get really hands-on. But before we begin the real work, how about we familiarize you with the zoo by learning how to fly around it and visiting some of our beautiful animals? We'll start by popping over and having a look-see at the grizzly bears in their habitat. Lovely. Do you like the Welsh accent? It's a very nice one. Uh, on her behalf, Dizzy Womp Poo Hoover. <laughs> uh, gross. A poover, if you will. Um. Did you know that grizzly bears, also known as Ursus Arctos Horribilis, uh, it's can hibernate for up to seven months Hydrate, a year? Hydrate, you bastard! Hydrate! <laughs> Over there again, given the chance... Uh, I would, I guess, I would guess this one is very hydrated. Select one of the bears and you'll bring up its information panel. This is where you can find out all kinds of information about your animal. The most important thing being its overall welfare. You'll learn more about animal welfare today as we go through your objectives. But for now, let's enjoy this magnificent animal. Why don't you select the camera at the bottom of its information panel? Um, yeah. Although, I did see, I did see a thing just before I started up this game on the Steam, Steam community thingy. If I... Mm, let's see, um... Uh, 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 uh. No, that doesn't work. Oh, it's a shame. Bear with me, guys. I thought this would be funny, but it's not working. However, never mind. So there was a color, the a way to like color the animals. As some kind of weird cheat thing, but maybe I'm doing it wrong. Anyway, yeah, that's so a bear in it. Is a fantastic way to get a close look at your animals. Got wiggly you ears. Also get this view of an animal by simply double clicking on it. Okay, when you're ready, let's pop over to the other side of the zoo and take a look at the lions. Look at I've the marked big fluffy the location boy. for you to find. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> yeah, I like this already. Hey. Yeah, not trying to be clever. No, it didn't work. I don't know why. Never mind. Let's go see the Leons. Where are you? There you are. Ugh. That look a bit weird. Uh, Graphis. Borderless. Oh, that's okay then. Chromatic aberration off, because that's gross. Uh, the rest of this is fine though. V Sync is on. Cool. There we go. Where them lions at? Leo. All the West African lion to you and me. Lions are the most social. Oh, look at these rocks. Cats, Very nice. As many as forty lions in a pride. Although prides of that size are pretty rare. Mm, as Bernie would texture. say, those lions are awesome. Which is precisely why I handle the training instead these days. Anyway, how about we get started on those objectives? Come on, let's head over to an empty habitat and see what needs doing there. <laughs> Tell these ones are lions because they're just lying around. Uh, yeah. Uh, can you tetrid cam into animals break out and attack the guests? Let's find out. Probably not. Uh, nope. You just ruined this lion. Oh well. As you can see, it's a lovely space for animals, but it's missing a certain something. Bending well, machines. two somethings. Oh, animals, right, Warthogs. of course. <laughs> so I'd like you to adopt a pair of them. To adopt animals, we need to open the animal market, which is in the animal trading section. Yeah. Uh, okay. This is like, is this a uh, like staff only path then? That's quite interesting. Ah uh, yeah, all the old favorites. Hot dog squad, shot juice. Uh, gift shop, information shop. Yeah. Cool, nice. Uh, right, let's adopt some animales. A pair of perfectly splendid warthogs for our zoo. Just click on them and select adopt from the side menu. Normally the animal exchange would be full of animals, but I've emptied out the market while you learn how it works. But I've killed the rest the of them. The last thing I need is you accidentally ordering a dozen elephants. Mm, yes, accidentally. When you adopt an animal, it's automatically placed in the trade center where they're held until you're ready to move them into their habitat, which, as it happens, you are. So how about you move them into their new home? When you ask for an way. animal to be moved into a habitat, your caretakers will go to the trade center, well, yeah. collect your animal, and deliver Give them here. to your selected habitat. I've marked the trade center's location, so let's go and watch the caretakers in action. Hold on, I want to have a look in here. Ooh, that's nice. Uh, I guess this is like a, a feeding station, right? Where they prep all the food? Nuts and grains and stuff. Mm, what a Malone. <laughs> nice. What's next door? Oh yeah, staff room again. Cool. Um, ba -bum, ba -bum. what am I doing? <laughs> Kate the animal trading center. Oh, there it is. I found it, well, don't worry. As you can see, those caretakers don't hang about. They'll move those animals to their destination as fast as possible. Of course, normally we'd have to place the animals into quarantine before moving them into a habitat. Oh, there we go. But I am assured by a person Stop. of good Come standing that these warthogs are in the very rudest of health. Right, let's get the warthogs' habitat finished up so we can keep them nice and happy. <laughs> You see, each animal in the zoo has an overall welfare statistic, basically how happy they are. And that overall welfare statistic is itself comprised of four different areas. How's Nutrition, in that social box? health, habitat, and enrichment. 
Luckily, if you select an animal, you'll bring up their animal welfare information, <laughs> which we saw earlier, where you can see how they're doing. That way, you'll know exactly what areas need to be addressed. Yay! To remember. You can always check the Zoopedia for more information. Let's start by nice. making sure we're taking care of the warthog's nutrition Look at these cute welfare. Piggies. To do this, we'll I mean, need to place a food cute, station but, and you know. a drinking station. <laughs> now, each animal requires oh. a different type of feeding station. Oh, tough warthogs, work, is it? It's a small feeding trough. Been a long day. So let's add one of those and a water bowl. All right, a feeding bowl and a water bowl and a thingy. Uh, maybe over by here. And some food over here, too. Animals also require stimulation to keep them happy. Let's add a lovely mud bath for the warthogs to roll around in. Roll <laughs> around will in. Come towards their enrichment welfare, specifically their toy enrichment welfare. Yeah, maybe we'll put that over here. Nice work. Away from the food and the water, this, where, where guests no. can see. Our contractor had to leave in a hurry, so this place is in a feral state. Unfinished thingamajigs and what's-its all over the shop. But the first thing we need to finish is the ostrich habitat. It's over near the hippos. Mmm, yes. I know where that is. Ooh, yeah. Oh, man. Just imagine, imagine standing here. And in here, looking out across there on a nice hot day. Ah, ooh. There was a balloon up there. Nice, this makes me want to go outside. Ugh, gross. Uh, over here, there we go. Oh, before we actually start building our ostrich habitat, let's pause the game. Just click the pause button in the bottom right corner. Ah! That's more like it. A quick break. Sometimes it's a good idea to pause the game whilst you're doing something which requires your concentration. Ah. Because it'll stop the zoo spinning out of control while you're looking the other way. Let's keep the game paused while we get this ostrich habitat built. Ooh. Okay. Job number one here ah, is to add cute. a habitat gate before we complete the barrier. Every habitat <laughs> needs a habitat gate. After all, how else would the keepers get in and out? <laughs> Just make sure it's hooked up to the path so the keepers can reach it. That's cool. Ah, uh, that's even cooler. You can see, like, underwater through the glass. This is fun. I like this. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Right, add a gate. One gate, please. Right! Let's complete the perimeter barrier so we can adopt us some ostriches. I've marked out an area for you to use, so I'd like you to finish off the perimeter using the brick barrier. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Put a bush there or something. Uh, oh, how did I miss that? Good work. Remember, before you can place animals in any habitat, it has to have a full loop of connected barrier. Now, you've probably noticed that guests can't actually see <laughs> into this habitat at the moment. At least not without a stepladder. But seeing as they're banned, I'd like you to select a piece of barrier and swap out the brick for a glass barrier so the guests can see in. Uh, yeah, that'd be... Uh, enough? There we go. Yeah. Adding in more windows gives guests even more opportunities to see the animals in a habitat. It's always best to make sure the guests can get a good view into in a habitat minute. from the path they're walking on, because it makes them happy. And because this would be a pretty terrible zoo if they couldn't. The last thing we need to do is to add a donation box. You see, when guests enjoy the view of an animal, they'll make a donation. Just make sure you put them in easy to reach places like near a viewing point. Donation boxes are one of the main sources of income for the zoo, so make sure you remember them. 
Now, before oh, we can I put down one? You should click the play Fine. button. After all, if the game's paused, then so are our caretakers, which will make it a bit tricky for them to deliver the ostriches, eh? By the way, as well as pausing the game, you can speed the game up by clicking on the fast forward button. It'll run everything at two times and five times faster. It can be useful, especially if you're waiting for money to accumulate or for animals to be delivered to your habitat. Personally, I use it when I'm waiting for a brew to finish. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you've finished the habitat, so it's high time we adopted those ostriches, don't you think? Let's get four of them in here. One of them, one of them, one of them, and one of them. Uh, yeah. Go in there. You can go in there. You can go in there. And, believe it or not, you can While go in we wait there. for them to be collected by the caretakers and brought to the habitat, you should get it ready for them. Add a suitable feeding station, water station, and an appropriate food enrichment item. It's often best to place things like enrichments and feeding stations near to the habitat perimeter, so guests can get a really good view of the <laughs> Should animals. I not have done this already? <laughs> Quick, right, we've bought the animals, they are on their way. What do we need to oh yeah, feed them. Feed them and water them. Uh... Cool. And uh one of these slow ones, we'll put that in the shade of the tree. Hey, oh. we did it. Good to see the ostriches have somewhere they can really stretch their legs. Did you know they can actually run at 43 miles per hour? Oh, oh heaven forbid they ever escape. <laughs> the speed camera finds alone would bankrupt us. certainly seems impressed. Did he do his speed camera joke? Mm -hmm. Every time we get an ostrich. So, now we've made the ostriches' lives a bit better, Look let's this do the fluffy same the boy. Keepers, shall we? To make it easier for the keepers <laughs> to feed the ostriches and hippos, we should build a new keeper hut. Keeper huts are where the keepers prepare the food for animals, mm -hmm. so That's they the should one. be placed near to the habitats to make sure the keepers don't waste their time walking when they should be looking after the animals. D -d 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 keeper hut. You'll need to rotate the keeper hut to get it to connect up to the path. Uh, oh, over there. In the staff area. Yeah, hello. This keeper yep. hut only has space for one keeper, but the larger keeper hut can allow multiple keepers to prepare food at the same time. Oh, but bear in mind that keeper huts and other staff facilities shouldn't be placed near to areas where there are lots of guests. Guests don't like seeing facility buildings and it can affect their happiness. Oh. Negatively. <laughs> In case that wasn't clear. Something that all facilities, shops, and a whole host of other objects need is power. And that obviously includes your newly Hello. built keeper hut. So let's place a transformer next to it, shall we? Transformers. Robots in disguise. Oh no. Now, the reason everything has gone blue is because you're using the power heat map. This map allows you to see what is and what isn't powered in your zoo. So, once you've placed your transformer, you can click in the bottom left to turn the heat map off. Lovely work! Now the keepers can start using the hut to prepare food, and thanks to where you've put it, they won't need to walk very far to deliver it to the ostriches and hippos. Let's get on to your next objective then. Bengal Tigers! We want to adopt some, but I'm afraid there's nothing ready for them yet. Head on over to the plot of land I've marked ah. out. It's not too far away. It's not too far away, seeing as the you're an all-seeing, like, god person. 
and concrete and glass, I expect. Let's fly so up into go space. Ahead and build it. Just make sure that the habitat includes that big hole we've dug. Oh, and don't forget to add a habitat gate to the barrier. Oh, and make sure the guests will be able to see the tigers. Nah. Hi to the tigers, keep them for ourselves. Ha 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 ha. There, cool. Now I want some some glass along this side. Do some glass. A little bit of brick. Or glass. Just a small one there. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Go. More. Cool. Then definitely need a couple of glass bits that side. Oh. That should do. Tiger can't jump over that, surely. I guess we'll soon find out. Uh, and a gate now, back. Now, Bernie takes safety very seriously at his zoos, so we should probably make sure those tigers can't jump That's over That's just what I was saying. Think. The way we'll do it is by changing the height of the habitat's barrier. Okay then, you should start by double-clicking the habitat barrier, which will take you into barrier editing mode. Okay, so that's kind of like now, highlight the, the track. Perimeter of the track habitat. head in. You can do that by clicking and dragging the barrier selection uh, tool. From, uh, from Planko. What do we think? Three-ish? Now you've got all of the perimeter selected, you can increase the height of it by clicking and dragging the barrier height tool upwards. You'll want to make sure it reaches a height of at least 3.7 metres. Three, eight, wait. Oh, no, it's not 3.7, is it? Damn, okay. 3.8. the habitat is in place, don't forget to put down a donation box near to your viewing areas. We need every dollar we can get. <laughs> Especially as these tigers aren't exactly eating instant noodles for lunch. Okay, that's the habitat about the complete. place. Nice. The habitat gate's in place, and most importantly, be able to the get tigers some won't be able to jump out of it anymore. I think it's time we adopted those tigers. <laughs> Oof. They're expensive. Whilst our trusty caretakers collect the tigers, ah. let's take a look at preparing the habitat for their arrival. We'll start with the basics. Add a suitable feeding station for them. I've done it again. <laughs> ah, we don't need to feed them, just get them in there. Oh my god, they're starving. Uh, this will probably want to be over here, won't it? This time, instead so of adding a water bowl, let's try something different. Some animals need a pool in their habitat so they can go for a swim, but they can also use it to drink from. All you have to do is make sure the banks of the pool have a gentle slope so they can easily get a nice refreshing drink. There's already a pool excavated, but you still need to fill it with water. You Way should do that you. by going into terrain and selecting the water tool. So you I know how to put the water out we did it. Yes, that'll do nicely. Of course, just like the warthogs and ostriches, these tigers will also need some enrichment. Why don't you add some suitable toy and food enrichment items into their habitat? Okay, so this one is called Ben. This one is called Gal. Because they're... Because they're... Because they're... No, they're... <sighs> yeah. <laughs> they're Ben Gal tigers! Can I pop these balloons? Ugh. Alright, 10 out of 10. Perfect game. 
See, that's what was missing from Planet Coaster that was in Roller Coaster Tycoon. Ugh, oh, beautiful. Then they'll just go and buy another one. <laughs> uh, what am I doing? Toys and stuff. Frozen Blood Pumpkin. That's pretty metal. Go on then, you want that? Uh, and a rubbing, rubbing pad. We'll have that, we'll have that near. Okay, it's really starting to take shape. Near to the now, other guests. The tigers are. will need a shelter in their habitat so they can hide from the guests, or more likely the bad weather. Although given that we're in England, you might want to think of that just as normal weather. <laughs> Go on, add a shelter to their habitat. Weather you bad. Can <laughs> from various suitable bits and bobs, or if you like, Ooh. just pop down the blueprint that I've already built for you. Ooh, I think we should probably... I think we should probably make our own one, shouldn't we? Because, uh... Because, uh, that sounds... That sounds good. Get get to grips with the old, uh, the old building... Uh, tools. I uh, probably want that right next to the wall. So a fair, fairly large one, um, but with kind of this more open area bit here. All trim, very nice. Uh, let's put a roof on this thing first. Cool, yeah, pretty much. The, uh, oh! Same controls as Planet Coaster, same... Oh, poor dabs. Shut up. Sure <laughs> same problem. escaped your attention that the tigers look a bit miffed. That's because they aren't too keen on the type of terrain in their habitat. Oh. Select a tiger and bring up its information panel. Wait, I must finish building. Uh, yeah, still sometimes keeps hold of that, that vertical movement thing when you let go of it. Uh, that, that Planko has, that's... Uh, okay, I probably didn't want to do that, did I? Take that back a bit, put another one on on that side. And that pretty much looks like a like a girder, doesn't it? Cool, that looks that looks all right. I think I'll probably put. Uh, oh God, hold on. Put one of these in this corner just to, uh, just to support that. To support that ceiling, the roof rather. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Can't fill it under here. Wow. Uh, hey, hey Shane. Um, not Shane. Kane. There we go. That rhymes. What's <laughs> up, man? How you doing? Welcome to Planet Zoo. You can pop balloons. It's the best game ever. What is this? Uh, oh, do they bring bring us another a frozen another frozen blood pumpkin? That's quite good. Um. Increase terrain wealth, wealth, waffle, waffles to a hundred. Click on the terrain tab. That way you can view the terrain information and see how they feel more about grass, the different types of terrain. More soil. That will tell you what the tigers need more of or less of in this habitat. Okay then, open the terrain. Yes, that should help with the habitat. 
that the uh, is that the sound of us feeding these uh, these guests to the tigers? Yes, more long grass. Or do you want less long grass? Oh yeah, this needs to come down, doesn't it? So they want more, more short grass, less long grass. Do you like it? Yeah, it's pretty fun so far. Um, started, started, uh, started by doing by not doing the tutorial. Quickly got lost. Uh, then decided it was it was probably a better idea if I do the tutorial. So, uh, so here we are. Just start uh, mowing the lawn a little bit. Mm -mm. They say the good fences make good neighbors. I guess that's doubly true when one of the neighbors is a Bengal tiger. <laughs> <laughs> Monkey. Still, those tigers look so happy that I doubt they'd leave. Even if you did poke a hole in their fence. <laughs> oh, but for heaven's sake, don't test that theory. Right. right. Let's head over They're to happy, the Indian pea fowls. I've been told that we need to improve their social welfare. Now then, just find one of the pea fowls and select them to open their information panel. Then we can have a good gander at how they're doing. What up, buddy? Although technically, I suppose gandering would just be for geese. What is problem? Too few adults and juveniles in the animal Expand social group. Expand their social welfare, and we can get a bit more detail. So we need more. Uh, now, they've clearly got plenty of space, and they're not stressed, but it looks like their social group isn't quite right. So let's find out more. Ah, Click on the you're social so pretty. at the top of their information panel to see what's wrong. Do you not, do you not think, looking at this, that, um... Um, b -b -b depending on depending on your beliefs that someone somewhere when this thing came around was like yeah let's make it blue <laughs> big blue bird yeah big blue bird lots of feathers with eyes on them why I have no idea big blue bird ha <sighs> Which is weird, because the the, fe the the oh no, it's the male ones. I think the female ones are just like brown. Uh, what's that? Some tasty food. Is there only one in here? Ah, oh, looks like it. Uh. B -b -b B -b 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 that one, this one. There As we you go. Can see, the pea fowlers need their population to be larger. To solve this little problem, you'll need to adopt three more female pea fowls. Off ah. you pop to the animal market, then. There you are. Oh, this one's nice as well. This is a. I think this is a juvenile one. No, no, it's an adult. Oh, it's a female one. There's a lot less colouring on this one. Three new P fowls. <laughs> Used to um mm. when I was a wee lad, we'd go we'd go we'd go on holiday, we'd stay in someone's field. And uh on those pea fowls. I expect they'll be delivered soon. But sadly, there was a place that we went to that had a lot of these these peacocks grumpy. and stuff. Let's head over there and see what's wrong with her. And uh, they're great. They're, they're beautiful. And it was uh, the noise that they were making that made me that reminded me of that. Uh, right, where are these birdies at? Where's the gate? It's just there, isn't it? One, two, three, ah, ah, ah. Cool. Snow leopards, that's not a lot of snow, is it? 
Just like people, animals can suffer from stress if things aren't quite right. You know, God. like when you see someone put in the middle sprinting out of there. In the case of these snow leopards, they're a bit stressed by their lack of privacy. Oh, mate. You can lower their stress levels by swapping out the normal glass barrier by their cave for one-way glass. It's not a cheap option, but I think they're worth the expense, don't you? This will give the snow leopards somewhere to go when they want to get away from the prying eyes of the guests. Of course, okay, when an animal work. isn't in its natural biome, it's probably yeah. going to be too hot or too cold. Unsurprisingly for the snow leopards, it's, it's too hot. Even with the terrible British weather, you should help cool it down by adding some coolers to their habitat. But let's start by opening up the temperature heat map and having a look-see at the temperature in the leopard's habitat. Oh, roasting. As you can see, we already have one cooler in there. Let's pop some more down and get as much of the habitat as chilly as we can. Luckily for us, this habitat already has power, but you'll need to make sure of that in the future. Just so you know, if any part of a habitat is powered, then the whole habitat will be powered. How does that bring it down? What's this one set at? Cool, that one's set at zero. That one's that one's the same. Maybe I'll move move that one up a bit. So it's more of a spread and this one can go into the into the uh, habitat as well. Hopefully you're also paying attention to the tutorial. Why do you think I have this open? <laughs> Because I will forget what I'm doing. Because I'm very good at that. Uh, oh, it did want it did want me to add three, didn't it? Not have three altogether. There we you go. Can find heat I should make that better. Sorts of helpful things. So do be sure to explore them and make good use of them. It'll take a little while for the temperature to adjust once you've added coolers or heaters. But now we've got the coolers in, we can address the leopard's terrain welfare. You see, what the leopards really want in here is snow and rock. So let's make that happen. Oh dear, there's snow. Snow, snow way, this is a good habitat for them. <laughs> uh, are you liking the game? Yeah, I am. It's... um. It's it's kind of slightly more complicated than Planet Coaster is. And there's a lot to a lot of new stuff. A lot to learn. What do they actually want? Hey, habitat, terrain. Right, they want all very much less long grass and more snow. Yeah, that corner I do. Well then, all of that should give you a pretty good understanding of how to make animals happy. So I'd like you to go and check on all the other animals in the zoo and fix up any issues with their habitats. That'll increase the average welfare of the animals across the whole zoo. And that average welfare is a very important statistic. Now, to quickly see how all your animals are doing in the zoo, you should go into zoo management and then into the animals section. As you can see, this list shows you the animals. Oh no, the turts aren't day. happy. So if something's amiss, then you can the pop over to them using the locate button. Are you at? Right. I'm off for a cup by while you make sure all the animals are well looked after. Right. Ta oh no, no enrichment. That sucks. Uh, right, food enrichment and toy enrichment in here. This is a very small, small habitat. Hmm, do they want some blood scent markers? Maybe these tortoises. 
They are uh, they are quite fierce like that. Uh, what would you like? Oh, poop hoover. A poop hoover. Um, what kind of enrichment would you like? Would you like a dog ball? Probably not. Need a Uh, oh, I can, can I, can I filter it by tags then? No, uh, ooh, species. Yeah, that's, that makes that easier. And what are you? You are an Al Aldabra giant tortoise. Ah, so you do want a dog ball. There you go. Have a dog ball. Uh, oh, and some, some leaves. Would you like some leaves? Does that help at all? Uh, oh no, there we go. Enrichment items. Some herb scent markers. Oh, right up with that one. Uh, cool block of frozen fruit. It's a nice hot day. How far is 88? Habitat, what's wrong with this? Hard shelter. Needs more hard shelter for the toits. For these toitesses. Uh, suppose they want some kind of shelter in this corner, eh? Uh, so I can do that, no problem. Uh, some kind of. Just, just something, just something small like that, kind of half, half one there and then we'll pop a roof on it. Hey, hello bread. Nice to see ya, come on in. Uh, playing a little bit of Planet Zoo today. Uh, very, very kindly gifted to me. By our, our very lovely Toxic Mystic Wolf. And uh, yeah, it's good so far, it's fun. Uh, although that doesn't look particularly good, so let's get rid of that. And um, boo, 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 I'll need one more of them. Uh, and then this kind of uh, sloped, sloped piece. There we go. Is that enough, do you think? Is that enough hard shelter? Uh, no. I, I will. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Thank you very much, Shane. <sighs> Enough. Happy now? No. Mm, okay. Hey, why are you so happy? Because you have a cool hat. Could be. Uh, okay then. Does this does this need to be a little bit bigger?
Oh, nearly deleted that then. That probably wouldn't have been good. Uh, okay. Maybe I do kind of want this to look like just a, a garden shed. Do I have a a uh, pointy roof? Ah, it's not wide enough. It's all right. We can make it work. Uh, oh my god! <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe that's a bit too high for some reason. Fill these in and we can have a fairly, fairly terrible looking shelter. They need to be stone with it saying being hard shelter. Possibly. Maybe that, maybe because the wood's got like gaps in it. That's uh, not enough. Although it is up to 73 now. Well, for is 92. Yeah, maybe if I maybe if I swap out some of these then. Uh breeze blocks, bricks, concrete, concrete panel. And stone wall. Oh, that's that's interesting. Little uh two by two piece there not on the grid. And a 2x4, these are missing from Planko, these would be so good. Uh, okay, so I guess this little um, little hashtag here means it's uh, gridded. And that kind of squarey thing means it's not, possibly. How's that? I better? 73. Yeah, it's still the same. It's also uh, pretty bad. <laughs> Alright, we'll tuck that in. Bless you. Uh, see, now it's less that I've moved it a little tiny bit. Weird. <laughs> I think uh, I think maybe we put down. I think we maybe put down a pre-built one. Because <laughs> I do not know what I'm doing. Uh, but uh, everybody's gone for luck. All right. Uh, does it need Does it need like a floor as well? Uh, that's what it didn't have. How's that? That better? 67. Hmm, does it show me in here? Buildings, ba 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 ba. Habitat. Traversal area, shelter. Okay. Is that. That only does that much. Do they maybe also want a small one over here? Uh, yeah, that's that's like way up now. I think that's probably all right for the turtles. Uh, 
big one and then a little smaller one in the corner. Uh, right. D -d -d one of our lions is sad and has attracted protesters, did it say? What's wrong, buddy? Not enough space. Critical area or crowding issues are present. Well, how many... How many are in here? Are you stuck? Is that it? Are you actually stuck down there? Are you serious? <laughs> uh, let's see. Show a traversable area. Yeah, you're stuck. I think. Yeah. How have you got stuck? This is the tutorial. You are very fluffy and furry though, so I'll let you off. Better. There we go. At all. I think it's Idiot lion. You passed the first part of your training with flying colours. There's still lots more to learn, but we'll have to head to another one of Bernie's zoos for that. If you want to grab your passport, we'll head off, shall we? Nice. Right. Tutorial done. It's only been an hour and twenty minutes. <laughs> uh, but you know, I think I think we probably we can probably go back into our into our into our sandbox zoo and um, struggle. <laughs> Where are we at? My zoos. Let's go. Back into this one. So now I know that we need, like, back areas. But yeah, it's fun so far. I am enjoying it. Hey, Mr. Spider-Man, hello. Little, uh, little bit something different today. Doing the animales. That's, that should give you a pretty good understanding that's of how not to what I wanted. Happy. So I'd like you to go and check on all the other animals in the zoo. When fix up any issues with it. Oh, I guess I didn't save my sandbox zoo. Ah, that's fine. We'll start another one. Sandbox. Uh, where were we? Temperate, Europe, all that. Pangolins. Oh, yeah. Budget Zoo. Ah, here we are. Temperate fields of of Bingle Bongleshire, just west of Fingleton, and uh, one of the largest counties in the uh, Spongle County area. Uh, let's just let's just keep the set up so I could see what I'm doing. And uh, right here we go, take two. Let us see if we can pretty much do what we did before, but uh, using what we've learnt. Something like that. Uh, then I think I'll have the staff area go off. Go off this way. Because uh, our first our first enclosure will just be in here. We'll put some some pangolins in. 
Uh, but right. First, we will need... It's kind of annoying that it doesn't have... Uh, you can't separate... Or can you? I mean, I guess you probably... Can... Blueprints... Blueprints off. There we go. Yeah. Uh, right, Animal Trade Center. I need one of them to get animals. Keeper Hut, so we can have some keepers. Uh, quarantines, research, staff room. Uh, we'll get to the vet stuff if we need it. Now, I'm I'm not an expert at anything, uh, but I'm going to say we probably don't need that high of a wall for pangolins. I mean, that is just a guess, so uh, if I'm wrong, let me know. I'm going to say probably, probably don't need a massive enclosure. Go like that. We'll make this front bit glass so you can have a peek. Uh, and yeah, let's see if we can get some. We need some staff as well. Um, staff, I need a keeper. Uh, anyone else? I don't know actually. I don't think so. Where are you going? Can I sit down? Alright then. I'll let you off. Uh, right. Pango Lins. Hey, there we go. That is... That is still in there. That's... Uh, strange. I guess the filter's still on, isn't it? Right. Animals being Dr. Cash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mango Lin. Woman Galin. In here. Invalid destination. Why? Oh, it's not got a um it's not got a gate on it, has it? That's why. There we go. Lovely, lovely. Right. Quarantine and a vet surgery. Yeah, it'd be fine. Um, this one... Yeah, we can get him in there now. Good, you can go in there as well, and then it will tell us what they need, because I haven't got a clue. Quickly, quickly. No? Um, oh, looks like I've missed something again. Am I being a dafty? Do I need some kind of other... Bum, 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 bum. Uh, would it be? Yeah, I think it was caretaker, wasn't it? Yeah. Which is a bit weird. Here they are. Confetti as well. Ah, oh, that's cool. It's um, it's the Planet Zoo logo in there as well. That's very nice. Look. Look at the little baggolin. Isn't he sweet? Why can I not zoom in any closer? <laughs> Hello, little fella. All right. Well, 
bless, very cute. Do they need a little home first? Yes. Now that they are in, they will tell me what they want. Uh, terrain is not good. They need more short grass, less long grass, and some soil. So we'll give them lots of soil. Uh, some more short grass just over here. Cool, all in the green now. And I uh, can tell from up here that they've got a lot of space. So uh, we might even be able to get some more. Hard shelter. Ah. Another, oh my god. When did these people get in here? Why have I not got anything he set up? Uh, uh, panic. Uh, where are the donation thingies? There we go. One there. has no vets. That'll be okay. We don't have any sick pangolins at the minute. So yeah, welcome to Pangolin Land. The pangolin section of budget land. Hard shelter. Let's build these guys a little home. <laughs> Quite like these, uh, these wooden log structures. Um, so I'm guessing they also kind of need, need like floor as well. Uh, so we'll give them, oh god, I need to feed and water them as well. Ah! <laughs> um, I don't know, a large, large food bowl? Da, 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 da. Uh, you'll need a fish feeder box. Oh, sweet. You'll also need one of them, which means that I need to put in uh, some utility stuff. Ah, uh, yes, I will. I must also hydrate my pangolins. Uh, why haven't I got... Oh, there we go. Yep, yeah, one of them. Do I need... Do I need power? Maybe. I guess this takes power. <sighs> Wait, it's our first poop! <laughs> Look. A small little nugget of poop. <laughs> uh, go on then. Bam! Straight into the poo hoover. Uh, nice. Let's carry on with this. Give them uh, a nice little, a nice little house. Mm, probably doesn't need to be too, too tall. Oh. Mm, so yeah, we'll go for uh, just, just a few supports. Maybe one in the middle like that. Uh, then I should just be able to duplicate this upward. C 
cool. That looks good. Do you like that? Yeah? Any good? What do you think? Uh, yeah, this is all, all looking good. Need some enrichment stuff. I think I might move... Uh, oh god. Is that all added to the same thing? I think it is, isn't it? Split that from the group. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Edit. Split. Edit. Uh, split. Cool. Now I can move all of these around. Have some food at the front. Right. Done. Doesn't this look nice? The answer is no. Um, so, they need a, some kind of, yeah, plant and tree environment. So either temperate or tropical biomes. Uh, temperate, tropical. Uh, in Asia. Uh, there's the water plants, aren't they? And these should all be all be appropriate for uh, our little pangolins here. Ooh, got a weird weird blur on it. How strange. Bushes, yes, big big trees at the back. Give them some nice shade. Uh, oh, I don't. I kind of don't like that weird motion blur. Don't think that's a setting though. Camera? Would it be in camera? In behavior, mouse focused. I like that actually. Uh, do do graphics. Uh, eh, maybe not. Yes, I'll just have to live with it. Uh, right, more more trees, more plants. That's a massive tree. We'll go for one of them just there. In, add in some foliage around there. Maybe have a, a nice, a nice bushy corner. Uh, ah, and a cherry blossom tree. Lovely. Go on then. Why not? Treat ourselves. Uh, dynamic mossy rock. Ooh, that's weird. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's got kind of a... Can you see that? It like... Like the texture is still. The rock moves. That's that's kind of weird, actually. <laughs> Alright, we'll put you in some, some big rocks. There's, a, there's not a great chance of you... Great chance of you escaping over that back wall. Because you're only little pangolins. Pangolins? Pangolins. Uh, they probably they want some enrichment as well. Social, boo. No, oh wait, habitat. Oh. Stress. Oh, an animal is distressed and trying to hide. Why? Hold on. <sighs> Let me pause, because we can't have them being stressed, can we? Because that is just not on. Need to look after our animals in our zoo. Uh, why are you stressed? What's up, man? Good? No enrichment. Right, so you, uh, you want somewhere to hide. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Is it habitable? 
shelter. Yeah, there is shelter. There's just um Maybe I should put some walls in here. Put some um Put some nice bedding in there. Uh because we can't have them being stressed. That's just not on, is it? That is not allowed. Not allowed in my zoo. No, thank you. Uh, cool. So that is that is a bit to hide in, I would say. Maybe if I need to raise those up a bit like that. Some kind of some kind of bedding in here. I think this is yeah, all species. That should be that should be alright. I'll put some um Put some bedding in there too. Should should help. Let's see if that's made things uh, any better. Nope. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think I can do something with this though, can't I? I can do... that. Oh yeah, it's going up. <sighs> okay, good. Good, good, good. Glad I could sort that out, actually, because I don't want my little pangolins to be stressed. Look at this guy. Look at him, isn't he cute? Can't be having no stressed pangolins. Look at that little face. Ah, They are very cute. Even if they are a bit weird. Cool. Nice. Glad that's sorted. Put the, uh, put the, put the, uh, do the thing. There we go. Uh, right. And you need some enrichment. You need to have a nice enjoy of your time here. Uh, enrichment. Ba -ba 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 -ba. What are you? You are a pangolin. There we go. <laughs> uh, a cardboard box. Yeah, sure. Go on then. Have a box. Enjoy. Uh, oh, and a termite mound. Ooh. Little termites in there. Go in there with their long noses. Right. These look like some uh, some pretty happy pangolins, I would say. Could do with another another toy, I reckon. Have a ball. There you go. Nutrition last meal quality was moderate. That's that's okay. Well, uh, oh my god! Look at him run! <laughs> I've never been fed! <laughs> yes! Time for dins. Uh, I mean, it's up there, but whatever. <laughs> That's fine. Nice. Uh, should we... Shall we see if we can? Shall we see if we can have some maybe some babby pangolins? How does one babby a pangolin? Ah, uh, cool. Gonna go sort our things out. 
I rest of, uh, enjoy the rest of the stream. Thanks, Shane. Thanks for stopping by. And, um, yeah. Oh, oh, they're about to mate. They're going to do it. Should we watch? That's a bit weird, isn't it? Oh, they've already done it. Um, yeah, take care, man. Have a good, uh, have a good rest of your day. Where is Prego? Offspring due November year two. All right, not too far to go. Cool. I should probably, I should probably get the uh, the other stuff stuff sorted, shouldn't I? Uh, I wonder if. I wonder if the yeah the um the path controls are the same as well, uh, which is good. Facilities stuff, facilities none of that. Uh, ugh. <laughs> Thank you very much, Shane. <laughs> a, a farting gift. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was stupid, wasn't it? You know, instead of a parting gift. <sighs> uh, right, and a veterinary surgery. What's in here, do you reckon? Anything? Ooh. The Void! Oh! Uh, it really is the Void. That's... odd. Uh, oh yeah, and the little... little vet surgery. Nice, cute. What are you doing? Looking at memes? Yeah, kinda. A clef rabu a repab Mm-hmm. Clean zoo is a happy zoo? Something like that. Uh, oh dear. Uh, and we need, we will need a vet. Uh, vet, there we go. Thank you for coming. Nice to see ya. Well, uh, we'll tart this all up. Ooh. Is there another, oh no, November. It's only May. Calm down. Hold your horses. Still doing good? Still happy? Last meal quality wasn't great. That's... Okay. If I make the sloth the cleaner in that poster, it'll take them bloody ages. Yeah, it will. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Very detailed in here. Lovely. Uh, right. So I think, yeah, we'll make a building of this building. Uh, while our pangolins are pangolining. Let's see what kind of filters we've got. Material. Tags, properties. Cool. Uh, what do these look like? They look like breeze blocks. Hmm. Yeah, maybe maybe back here it's not going to be super fancy. Uh, because it is... It is stuff. Stuff stuff, isn't it? Uh, but, you know, we can make it look like a building. Quite nice. 
They've, uh, they've done it again with the old nice music. I think it's pretty much the same people that did the music in the first one, too. Good. Do we want a copper roof on these? What else do we have? Uh, corrugated plastic. That's probably a pretty good shout for this kind of thing. So uh, it's very much kind of just makeshift at the minute. Then I need some need some breeze block end pieces. Yep, that's not how you spell that. There we go. So yeah, very very utilitarian looking thing. I like that three way corner piece. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Don't get that kind of uh, modularity in Planko. Oh no no. This looks like this looks like a, a warehouse on a um, on an industrial estate, doesn't it? But you know, it's for the staff, not for the guests. So we'll have to make make some nice nice guest things really tart it up. So maybe we should put down some put down some shops uh, and some toilets probably. Guest facilities. I like that you can just do this actually. Just put down those counters. That's that's very flicky. That just have a just have a counter out in the middle of nowhere. That would be <laughs> that'd be really weird. Uh, oh, and you can just, you can pretty much just put down guest spawners, that's cool. They are expensive though. Uh, I tell you what, we'll go for, we'll go for the old, the old faithful. Uh, we'll do, we'll do a gulpy and then we'll do a chief beef as well. Where would that be? There we go. Right, copy there, chief beef there, toilets, toilets. Same model? Ugh. If I must. Want those counters in Planko sick to death for making custom ones? I absolutely agree. They would they would go down very well. In Planko. But it is not to be. Unfortunately, right. Let's tart this up and make this look nice. Let's see what let's see what we've got. Dry stone wall. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's obviously the wrong piece for that, but there we go. It's quite cool. Like that. Those are good. Uh, ooh, glass house stuff. That's cool. Good for making like big greenhouses and stuff. Cool. Have to have to remember that. Uh, modern glass stuff. Be nice. Uh, oh, that's good. I like that. That's a very nice, very nice texture on there. Kind of looks like the interior of a McDonald's. You know, the upstairs bit, where they try and make it look fancy. Uh, but yeah, that does look nice. Limestone stuff, log stuff, metal clad stuff. Okay, pretty cool. Uh, mud walls. Ooh, fancy. Kinda... Uh, warmer country stuff. Very cool. What's the difference between those? Don't know. 
Uh, painted brick, plaster, sandstone brick. Cool. Some uh, some decent stuff in there. I think I am gonna go with. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. this one though. Whoop. Oh, <laughs> you uh, you click the click the favorite button, and it gives it a little kiss, which is nice. Are there any kind of arches archways for this? Mm, doesn't look like it, does it? That's that's actually. Uh, not very good. <laughs> Disappointing. Maybe we can maybe we can sort that out. <laughs> ah no, that's not gonna work, is it? Oh, I don't know, that's not too bad. Uh, and then one meter one on top of there, and that's that's kind of filled that space out. Kind of like decorative edge stuff it has. See, let's let's put in let's put in a beam and see what we get. Okay, stone beams. Uh, kind of round wooden beams. Square beams. Oh yes. Round beams. Ah, oh, perfect. Hello. Oh. Thank you. I have been brought a snack. <sighs> Pangolins are about to give birth. Building can wait. Building can wait. Where is, where is, where is, where are you? Are you? Nope. You are. There we go. Everyone ready? It's kind of dark over here. Maybe I'll move that tree. So we can just so we can watch. Here we go. Oh, it's doing it. It's making le baby. Ah! <laughs> yes, tiny baby pangolin. That's so cute. <laughs> oh, look at it. It's so sweet. It's so teeny tiny. Ah, uh, the miracle of Pangolin. Oh, the infinite void underneath. Yeah, little Baba Pang, let's call it that. Baba Pang. Nice, cute, I actually love it. That is bloody adorable. Oh. Look at him. He's running. How are you guys doing? Uh, animals last meal was moderate quality. Why is that? Why are we not feeding them the good stuff? Rice and larvae. Very nice. Ah, uh, yeah. Bear with me, chat. I'm un unwrapping my snack. Russell, Russell, Russell. Today's snack is a Kinder Kinder Penguin, uh, which is kind of a cold thing. Where it's like chocolate, very thin layers of cakey stuff, and then like I don't know. It's kind of like an ice cream, but not really. Take your name suggestions, yeah. You wanna you wanna name a pangolin? Oh for the next baby? Yeah, go on in. 
Don't know when the next one will be. Probably needs a rest. But yeah, take name suggestions. George and Babby too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Alright then. That will be it. <laughs> uh, is there a joke on the penguin wrapper? It's it's not a penguin. It's not a penguin penguin, it's a kinder pengui. Um they are nice though. I put that tree back. There we go. Trying to eat this as quietly as possible. Hold on, I'm going to mute myself while I eat this. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Oh, delicious treat. Right, we got some... We got some pangolins. We'll finish off our shop. Or, uh. Food and drink area. Uh, and then I want to do some of those, um. Like, smaller exhibits. Like you'd get in. Uh, like you'd get in a reptile house. Kind of thing. So we'll get some of those in. Add some beams. Give the detail. <laughs> do you think this has all the... Um... Ooh, what do we got for special effects, actually? Let's see if there's any good new ones. Uh... Dirt blowing, dandelion seeds, falling leaves. That might be fun. I don't think they're going to be, um... Oh, there is smoke, though. I was going to say, I don't think there's going to be, like, flamethrowers and electrical s electric lightning stuff, is there? Uh, it is, after all, a zoo. Well, that's cool. We could do a big fountain somewhere. Uh, although that is the large one, which isn't as large as the ones in Planko, which are like 200 feet high. Uh, so that is good, actually. Oh, rapid stuff. Uh, and waterfall things, very good, very nice. Yeah, there are there are little transport rides here as well, uh, ooh, which is that that was weird. I need a bin, uh, which is quite cool. I'm sure it's uh, I'm sure it's very much in the same way. It's built in the same way that uh, that Planet Coaster is. Uh, yeah, that might be cool. After a bit, I need a janitor. Or a caretaker. Although I guess I've got I've got one already, but eh, whatever. Do you sweep? You do sweep. Um, b -b 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 small animal exhibits. Okay. Yeah. Shot get distracted by that. Where are my bins? Uh, bin. Ah, there we go. Classic bin. Pop you on there. Maybe one just there as well. And uh, maybe a bench or two. Nice, nice looking benches. Just uh just pop a couple of 
standard benches down for now. Just in case anyone wants a sit. Now, are there... Um, oh, it won't be in there, will it? Be in construction. Yeah, okay, there's, there's, there's some. I don't think there are any uh, awnings, though. Uh, so, let's see if we can... Oh, maybe. They're, uh... They're not actually uh, specific, though. Time for a food shop back in mint. Nice. Pick me up a nice snack. Uh, that's pretty nice though, I like that. Matches uh matches what we got going on here pretty good. Uh, some frames, pretty cool. Cool. Bang a roof on this, and then um, then we can put down some uh, smaller exhibits. Horizontal wooden plank wall plank. Oh, nice. Just a little shop. No horrors. And some babby pangolins. How you doing, friend? You good? Pangolin in a way? Can I see all of my animals? Yeah, like that. Baba pang. Yep, everyone is doing everyone's doing good, I would say. Welfare is all good. How do I make your food better? Why does it look stinky? Food quality must be set on the habitat gate. Okay. <sighs> is it gonna rain? Oh it looks like it, doesn't it? It's come over all oh god. Uh it's come over all grey and rainy. Uh, I need a I need a uh, mechanic, don't I? Uh oh. Well, I don't actually think I'm using this water for anything. Eh, whatever. We're about to have a whole lot of water. Uh, barrier status thirty-two percent. Barriers are damaged and need repair. Oh god. Well. Good job we, uh... Oh, it's snowing. In July. Uh, what? <laughs> I'm sorry? Uh, what? <laughs> Available food and available water. Oh god, I am so confused. The view of the Chinese pangolin from here is not great at all. I suppose the view of the Chinese pangolin from here is fine. You can get a good view of the Chinese pangolin from here. Make up your mind, guys. Like... <laughs> what? Environment, it's cold. Why is it cold? Why is it snowing? It's July.
Where are my pangolins? Are they in here? Yeah. One, two, three. They're having a nice, a nice little nap in here, kinda. Cool. Grade one food quality. No, grade three, please. Best food. Treat our pangolins to a good food. Right, available food and available water is not good anymore. Animal welfare has attracted protesters. Oh, crap. Uh, I guess I need another I need the keeper, don't I? Just just to keep things going a bit better. Because this guy ain't doing diddly, is he? Come on, mate. I can hear them. No! No! Falamoop! Falamoop! No! Stop it. They're fine. Look at them. Habitat, temperature. See? It's not my fault. <laughs> Temperature's coming back up now. There we go. You happy? Like they're all good now, guys. They're fine. They're having a lovely time, mostly. <laughs> Baba Pang is about to mature. Good. Nice. Baba Pang is begin gonna become adult Pang. Ah. <laughs> A little grunty pangolin. He's very cute. When do you become when do you become adult? Point eight years old. I guess at I guess at one year old? And then do you just transform into an adult? Probably. Uh, that's all good. That's all good. Point nine. Yeah, a little bit longer to go. And then it'll pop into an adult. Yeah, this ain't a bad habitat. I think it needs some more stuff in the middle, really. It's a very open space. Of uh, not a lot. Oh, speed pangolin. Oh Jesus! <laughs> I just got stomped on by the keeper. <laughs> uh, that's not okay. It happened. Oh my God! Like a baby pang faded away, and now adult pang. Growing up that quickly has made it hungry, though. <laughs> oh my God! He got stomped. That was bad, wasn't it? That's not okay. <sighs> uh, how are we doing? Are we all good? I think everyone's alright in here, aren't they? I think we'll go for some for some more foliage in the middle. That's a pine tree. Lots of big trees. Maybe a rock. I'll, uh... Little pile of rocks. I uh, don't think they really climb on stuff. <sighs> Playing with the box, kind of. Just smushing the box. 
Uh, and then we'll add in add in some more more bushes and stuff. Gardening rocks, plants. Yes. Can't separate. Can't separate trees from bushes though. Which I think would be a good shout when there's the, like this much nature stuff in here. Oh. Box is broken. Mm, do I want some of these on the wall? Ooh, maybe some, maybe some ivy. That's look pretty good. Ooh. Whoa! Look at that thing! Jesus! That's massive! Maybe we'll put that over there. <laughs> uh, that is an enormous tree. An even bigger clump of bushes. Damn. Huge! Yeah, bang some of these around. Hide that back wall just a bit. Cool, this is looking this is looking not too bad. Uh, looking, looking pretty nice. A nice place to be a pangolin. Uh, hey, take the money. That's quite a bit of money. Nice. Cool. Staff all happy? I think they're fine, aren't they? Yeah, mostly. Cool. Look at these salaries. Look at these salaries compared to the uh, Planet Coaster ones. Damn. Hmm. Right. Uh, we should do a little... Uh, a little kind of exhibit thing. Uh, although annoyingly, I can't put a path in the middle that makes sense like that. Eh, maybe we'll do it from here. I didn't want to use that. There we go. Like that, and then this is where we can put in some small animal exhibits. Oh, that you can see from all sides. Okay. Put three next to each other like that. Because uh, I think I can, like, modify these walls. To get get rid of some of them. <laughs> I don't know, but we need we need some things to put in it. Uh, we'll take a gold star spider. What is this? A Brazilian salmon pink tarantula. Lovely. Uh, we'll go for a, a snack. What kind of snack do we want? What do we got? Puff adder, a western, western diamondback rattlesnake. That sounds pretty cool. Cool. 
Cool, we'll get one of them. Right, spider, snake. Lizard. I don't... I, do you think these lizards go in here? Probably, right? Don't know. Let's find out. Lizard A. Very nice. Lizard... Uh, snake... And a spoder. It's raining! It's finally ha- oh my god. It's finally happening. Do they have umbrellas? Do I need to have an information shop to give them umbrellas? I think I probably do, don't I? Unless there is a dedicated umbrella thing. I don't think there is. Uh, cool. So we'll give them an information shop. Just there. Like, I'm assuming they sell umbrellas. Yeah, there you go. On the left. I mean, on the right. <laughs> Speed. Oh, you brought your own, did you? Cool, nice. This is... I guess this is missing from Planet Coaster because... Like, running coasters in the rain and stuff. Uh-oh. What's wrong? Why are you not happy? Why are you not a happy lizard? Exhibit. Layout is bad. Temperature is bad. Okie dokie. Climate needs to be between 26 and 31. So let's go 28. Uh, humidity needs to go up just a little bit. Cool. Uh, layout is not good. Want some? You want some enriching, do you? Do you? Do you want some enrichment? And have some. Have some lamps. How you doing now? Perfect. Lovely. Look at the lizard. <laughs> no, don't protest my lizard. He's fine. Uh oh, peng pangolins are about to inbreed. Uh, is that okay? I think it's probably fine for animals, isn't it? God, look how just moist. <laughs> for God's sake. Look how wet it is around here. With all this rain, it looks good though, doesn't it? Like, visually. Uh, ah, it's stopped. Good, I'm sure that'll be okay. Now my snack is unhappy. Where are you? You're in there. That's nice, you can fit a roller coaster in there. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, let me just pause that for a second then. Temperature. Animal is too cold. Be 24 to 30. Uh, let's go 28. 40 to 60. That's fine. Uh... All the enrichment stuff you could ever want. Keep these animals happy. Uh, too cold, 23 to 29. Six, that's fine. Bump that up just a touch. Uh, and then more, more stuff. All the things you could ever need. Uh, 
I don't really know where the tarantula is in here. Oh, I do have a light. Lovely. Very good. Hello? Tarantula! Where are you? Okay, you're, you're down there on the floor. Yeah, I would have never seen you down there. Salmon pink tarantula. Should we get some more in here? Uh, what is it? Brilliant, brilliant Brazilian salmon pink tarantula. And you are a male, so let's get a famale. You can go in there. Spiders galore, all the spiders you could ever want, which is usually a zero. Oh, that looks nice. Beautiful. These do need to go in some kind of cover, though. Can I not? Can I not? Yeah, I can. Cool. That's good. Can, uh, can block off some sides. What are we doing? Ah! We are crashing. Well. Shit. Um. Okay. That's a slight problem. Let's see where it auto saved us. Ugh. I flew too close to the tarantula. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> right. Uh, that's probably an autosave, isn't it? Let's see what we've got in here. Auto saved when? 15... 1536. Ah, oh, that's fine. That's like three minutes ago. Oh. Oh. Whew! That was close. Almost, almost flipped the table, which would have been a bad idea because all my stuff is on it. Uh, cool. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to save, just in case. But uh, luckily, the auto save doesn't take too long because it is a brand new park. So we'll close that one. We'll close that one as well. We'll have some kind of sign here. Uh, and then I do the same for these. Can I? What does this mean? Two D side. Oh, that's quite cool. Yeah, I like that. That is uh, that is pretty cool. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's so cool. Right, that one can be two D. The other one can be. 5D. How cool does that look? Ugh. Awesome. Ah, here it is. Hello. Hello, little snaky friend. Please do not eat me. Cool. I like that. I like that they're different for uh, each of the types of animal as well. This is this is really nice. I am enjoying this. You know, you get used to you get used to Planet Coaster, and it gets it gets a little bit old. It doesn't really give you much new once you've played it for like 400 hours. Uh, but this is this is really nice. D D D D D Mystic, there is your third shout out of the stream. Uh, thank you very much for gifting me this game. It is it's fun. I'm enjoying it. It's really good. Snakeys, yes, there is there is a snakey in here. Woo god. There is a snakey in here. Oh look. What a coincidence. His name is Rally Matap too. <laughs> uh, I wish this rain would stop. 
Although it does look nice. God, this game is beautiful. Just, just the, it just adds this really, really nice stuff. Like, visually. It is a very pretty game. Uh, right. Uh, media devices and education. That's a big screen. That's an even bigger screen. Habitat education board set. Yeah. Education of Gant and Pangolin. No, can I not link it to this thing? Is there is there a smaller one for these? Do you reckon? I think that's just the legs, isn't it? Uh, no, these are only for pangolins. Did you name the snake after me? Yeah, because you have a... Uh, okay. Because uh, you've got a snake, don't you? I have, I have seen it in the bath. <laughs> yeah. Cool, so if I put that there... Yeah, there we go. That's pretty fun. And you can be edumacated. Yeah, kind of like that. I know that I can use it just a just a screen there, but. That's interesting. Can you do like tours then? This is a bit education board. Is it for these? Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Uh, the lizard is in this one. Lizard, ugh, a bit stroby there, I don't know why. This one is the snack, and this one is the spider. Ah, uh, I like that. I like that you can um, just add, add these little details. That is very cool. This does need to be under some kind of cover though, doesn't it? Edit the building architecture. Turn the DLC stuff off because no. Ain't got none of that. Clip center there a little bit. Uh, well, zoo has no security guards to deal with crime. Why are you criming in a zoo? What is wrong with you? What kind of utter bastard are you? Right. What was this breeze block wall? Do they have planter stuff in here? They do, kinda. Hmm. 
Don't quite have the uh, the big ones. The plan code does, but we can we can make it work. Just kind of fill some gaps in like that, and then we can put some plants on there. And then this needs a roof. Uh, it's cool. I spent hours making TMTK to do what the same thing what those info stands do you. Yeah? They are they are real nice. Uh, yeah, like those. Those are a bit mad. I do something like that. Give uh, just a little tiny bit of cover, uh, and then fill out these. I kind of wish it would stop raining now. Honestly, gonna say it could just uh, just be sunny. That would be peachy. There we go. Just just while I just while I finish this. <laughs> uh and we can pop some pop some plants in here. They'll be in nature. No filters, good. It's kind of a big tree. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Put some, uh, put some nice stuff around the bottom. Some African daisies, those are nice. Uh, then maybe, maybe just some, uh, just some leafy bushes in there too. And yeah, poking out a bit. That's fine. Uh, cool. Now, if I could get a bench there, that would be good, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it or not. Can I get rid of that path? I can. Okay, so... Maybe I can get, can get a bench there. I don't know where they would be, though. Uh, bins, benches, and security, probably. Oh, you can't advance to move them. That's a shame. Well, alright. Maybe we won't put a bench there. Ha, the building stuff is nice though. I do I do like all these building pieces. Uh these small exhibits are super cool too. You've got two spiders in here now, yeah? Uh oh. Temperature exhibit is too cold. How? Twenty-three to twenty-nine. Oh, I sorted that out. Ah, yeah, I was going to sort it out, and then it crashed, didn't it? Fair enough. <laughs> oh, have you ever seen? Have you ever seen? I save that quick. Oh boy. 
Uh, does that mean I've only got one in here then? Best exhibit animal. Uh, yeah, I guess I guess that didn't that didn't work, did it? Right, another another spoder in there. Jar Jar Jarrah's Spoutine, lover of that Planko thing. Hello, Pi. How are you doing? That was a very... That was a very clunky thing, but I enjoyed it. Thank you very much for that, and hello. Welcome to... Welcome to a bit of Planet Zoo. Something, uh, something a little bit different today. A little bit different, but also kind of the same. Uh, but fun. It's been good. Been, uh, building out a little zoo here. Stumbling our way through the game. I did do one tutorial. Uh, but yeah, I probably should have done a few a few more. Right. How are the pangolins doing? Baba Pang, you are you were you pregnant at some point? Oh the little snuffly noises. <laughs> Love the slightly improved lighting in Planko. Yeah, it's it's nice. The weather effects are nice as well. Put the uh, we put the rain back on shuffle, so it can rain if it wants to. It also snowed in the middle of the in the middle of July. So sure, if you like. Um, I'm sure there was another pangolin coming at some point. Guess not. Available food available. What are, what are you doing? Keepers, you are crap at your job. <laughs> Staff member is fully trained. Oh, that's probably why your thingies are so high anyway. Uh, work zone. I need to set up a work zone, don't I? Just do that, please. You are Pangolinman. Uh, have fun with the game. Gotta go. See you next time. Thanks for dropping by, Wolf. Uh, Kane, rather. Uh, I suppose it's the same, isn't it? Uh, and yeah, hope you uh, hope you have a good rest of your day. Uh, work zone. Work zone one. Yeah. Pangonly. Pangolins. Only. Uh, cool. That's that done. Did he do take care, Kane? Thanks for stopping by. Um. Right. There should be a dedicated. A dedicated workman here now. Maybe I want to put in some glass over this side. Yeah, like that. Uh, cause... Oh, that's, that's the wrong way, isn't it? Oops. Do I need to do it from this side, then? Uh, no? Ah, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> uh, whoops. Sorry, guys. <laughs> uh. That's alright, they didn't even notice. Uh, this... This won't go the right way around, though. For some reason... Let me just get rid of that. There we go. Don't know, a bit weird, but it's fixed now. Yes, play with the ball. Enjoy your life. 
Large amounts of a litter. Oh my god, look at all this litter. Literally four pieces. That's it, I'm shutting the zoo. Let's put down some more bins then, I guess. You've got bins, why are you so horrible? There we go, up your one there. Come on, mate. There's two of you just wandering around. Rubbish. Anyway. Uh, right. Pangolins are doing good. We've got uh, two tarantulas in here. Maybe they'll have an bebe. Question is, does Plan Zoo have mascots as good as Chief Beef? Is anyone as good as Chief Beef? Is that entire is that even possible? Don't even know if they have any don't think they have mascots in this game. Uh which honestly, I think I think they missed out on that. Who doesn't want to see uh, a big pangolin wandering around. Guest education rating. Okay. Need a research shadow and a workshop. Let's see. Let's see what they give us then. Research center and a workshop. Workshop, uh, research, centre, go for a large one. Why not treat ourselves? Mechanic research, do I? I think I probably have all of these, don't I? Yeah, looks like it. Because uh, we are on... We are on... Um, We are on a uh, sandbox. Cool, she's now learning more about tarantulas. Cool. Ooh, it's getting warm in here. Give me a second, I'll open my window a little bit. Oh my god, I can feel that workout I did this morning. Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> Just stood up and my body's gone, oh, what are you doing? Sit back down, you idiot. Ah. Moon is white because there is no atmosphere, the sun that bleached all the rocks. Yeah. Don't think that's true, they made it up more like the way it sounded. Fair enough. <laughs> Getting all flustered now. Oh, I am just having a having a hot flush about zoos, and uh, that was a lot of rubbish. And all all they all they zoo. Oh, that to have another panga baby offspring imminent. Let's watch. It's not weird, I swear. <laughs> what are you doing, a zoo? Uh, need to get back to the gym effort though, in it. It definitely is. Which is, uh, which is why I do it at home. Found some pretty good workout videos online. Just just watch those and just get, get sweaty in your living room. I just find that's just easier. You know? You don't have to go anywhere. You don't have to talk to anyone. You can just... <laughs> just be an indoors goblin. And, you know, just, just then have a shower after that. Did this have a baby? It did. I was completely distracted, wasn't I? Cool, we've already got a name for this one then. George and Babby get two. 
Uh, that is a reference that only one of you will get. <laughs> that is pretty funny. Ah, uh, look at the little baby pangolin, it's so cute. Bless. I think they're all having a pretty good time in here. Uh, Barry is good. Cleanliness is good. Terrain is all... All good. That's all good. Animals all having a good time. Except for available food, but they'll be fed at some point. Um, my gym's pretty close, it's open 24 hours so I can even go after work at like 2am not have to bother everyone but still, eh, you know. I get ya. It is, it is effort, but you know. If you only do like, only do like half an hour a few times a week. Uh, ooh, look at that tongue. <laughs> Uh, you know, you'll get results. Uh, right, so we got I got a couple of tarantulas in here. Do they do they actually breed? Do they have to wait until they're adults? Pump the humidity up just just a little bit. Uh, Okay, da da da. I reckon that's probably fine. Uh, we do with another. We'll go with another snack. Uh, pangolins are inbreeding, don't worry about that. <laughs> it's fine, I swear. <laughs> uh, Rally Matep, you are, you are a female though. Um. So maybe we'll get maybe we'll get a, a male in here as well. Uh, <laughs> uh, do we name it Dis though? <laughs> is that is that the angle we're going for? Are we shipping you and Dis? Less than diamond back rattlesnake. Three point six years, four point three young adult D D D. Uh, da, 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 yeah. That's the one you can go in there. I think most people are shipping me in this by this stage. Yeah, it's it's the thing. Oh, that was quick. We're in here already. Jesus. Uh, we'll go for her full official title. Uh, we might even spell it right. There we go. <laughs> uh, want to be shipped with Martin because if we get stuck at sea, he seems to have the strongest rowing arms. He definitely does. He is quite the buff lad. This the history. Oh, really? You are a genius. This the Histroyer. <laughs> nice, like it. Uh, what have we got in here? We got uh, we got an iguana, a male iguana. So I think we'll put, I think we'll get him a lady friend as well. Ooh, big snails. It might be fun to put in in somewhere. I realise that I'm kind of um, uh, crossing the streams on what I've got in here uh, because it's they usually separate reptiles and insects, don't they? And I know spiders are an insect, but it pretty much is. I'm glad people are enjoying the spiders. 
wherever they are. Yeah, where are they? Are you in log? Might be. Nah, can't see him. <laughs> uh, and iguanas, there's one here. Um, and another one in here somewhere. Cool. <laughs> uh, right. So, uh, so here we are, the start of the start of Budget Zoo, and uh, it's looking all right so far. I think I should put. Oh, I did put a toilet in, didn't I? Um, yeah, I've enjoyed this. It's been uh, really fun. There is a lot. There is a lot of the uh, the good parts of Planko in here, and they've also built on top of that. So this is this is great. I like this. Like in uh, like in the good selection of animals as well. Um, and yeah, this has been good. This has been really great. I like this. Uh, so yeah, first first kind of dip into Planet Zoo. Uh, let's just go and sit in with our pangolins. Ha! Nice. This doesn't look too bad. This looks like a plate to where you would keep animals. Do they have capybaras? I don't know. Uh, let's have... Uh, possibly... Nothing at all! Nothing at all! <laughs> What you get? Uh, they don't. They might have one in a DLC though. Do they have guinea pigs? Those are the besterest animals. They absolutely are. Have uh, have two little guinea pigs myself. They are very uh, they are very cute and very fat and very stupid, but I love them. Um. So yeah. What are you doing? Were you in a ball just then? Damn! I should have paused it. I think DLC will have those. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll keep a lookout. If it uh, ever goes on sale, I'll... I might buy some more. And uh, I might actually stream this again, because this has been good. Um, but yeah, we'll have to see. Hey, Mikey coming in right at the end. Hello. Welcome to Budget Zoo. <laughs> it is very small. Uh, but hey, it's a start. Uh, so yeah. Cool. Um, right. Thanks for joining me, guys. We should probably do a raid, shouldn't we? Let's send you off somewhere nice. Somewhere, somewhere that's been, somewhere that's been, somewhere that is also chill. Uh, let's see. H's is playing Planko, so maybe we'll go for that one. That absolute, absolute boy. Uh, and yeah, thanks for joining me, guys, and I will catch you next time. Take care, everyone, and, 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 and I love you. And uh, thank you very much, Mystic, for this game. All right, let's go. It's, it's, uh, it's raid time. All right, cool. This has been fun. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Bye, 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 b